Hey, welcome to Living the Dream with MS. Today I'm going to talk about MS and obesity. Now, obesity is not caused by MS directly. However, I've read several studies um, that say that upwards of 60% of people with MS battle with their weight. Of course, the general public also probably battles with the weight and close to those numbers, but with MS there are specific reasons why. The first ones, couple, have to do with exercise. Um, exercise is difficult when you're in pain. When I'm in leg pain, um, it's very difficult to exercise and get my heart rate up and do the things I need to do to burn calories. So that's always a challenge for me. The second one is being careful with my fatigue. Because if I overdo it and get fatigued, then my body's going to pay for it for weeks, days, weeks to come. And that's also a non-attractive option. So exercise, although I try to make it a priority, has been something that's very, very difficult for me to sustain on an ongoing basis. The second part is eating. Now I can speak for myself and for the people that I've read. This isn't scientific. It's, it's more a fact of life. When I am down, when I'm home, when I can't do as much, I emotionally eat. Even when I'm working or whatever else, I, I tend to eat more when I'm not feeling well, and that adds to the issue. So now we've got low exercise, we've got eating more. Then there's a third component, and the third component might be one of the tougher ones, and that's medications. Now the medication issue is even twofold. The first one is when you take steroids. Steroids cause you to gain weight. They cause you to gain water weight. They cause you to gain real weight. Um, so, and, and that can have some lasting effects on you. The other part, as we've talked about in several videos, is those of us that are using medical cannabis. Medical cannabis increases your appetite. Now, um, I try to generally use it only at bed, so that's not an issue. But when I've had larger problems, like I have for the last couple of months, I use it during the day. It's a different kind. So my, you know, I'm, I'm safe to drive and all those kind of things, but it still increases my appetite. So again, I'm eating more. Therefore, overall, I've got all of these factors that are causing me to gain weight. Now, I'm not looking for anybody to send me any diet tips. I'm not looking for anybody to send me any exercise tips. I have been successful. I have yo-yoed as much as 85 pounds. I've dropped 85 pounds. The problem is that that is very difficult to sustain. I know the diet that works, but you can't convince my emotions about that diet that works when I have setbacks. I know the exercise program that works, that's limited so that it doesn't over fatigue me. But when my legs are in a lot of pain, that exercise program doesn't always work. So it's something that, you know, even, even the best of intentions, even using, utilizing things like accountability coaches and things like that are all great. But when the disease is in full bloom and really weighing on you, it's very difficult to do any of those things. So this video was more about sharing my struggle, the struggle of balancing, trying to do what's right and healthy because I'm not at a healthy weight and dealing with the symptoms and other issues with MS that keep me from doing what I'm supposed to do. In the long run, I do my best to balance it. I do my best to eat right or even if I'm going to eat emotionally to eat better and not binge eat and eat garbage, which is kind of what happens in the worst case scenarios, and do my best to stay active. Uh, you know, people ask why I coach sports for three seasons. Well, if I didn't coach sports, that's the one thing that I can force myself to do even if I'm feeling crappy. And it's not a huge amount of exercise, but it gets me up. It gets my body moving. I'm not sitting in a chair. I'm out in the fresh air. And that, I honestly believe in my heart, is what's keeping me moving forward and not sliding backwards into my disability. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, the challenges of obesity and MS. Hopefully some of you found out that you're not alone in dealing with this. Maybe you have MS, maybe it's, it's other emotional or physical issues that are causing this. But you're not alone. It's something that I deal with all the time. It's something that I struggle with. Um, but I am dealing with it day by day, and I'm going to keep living the dream with MS.